You may see my video that I paused last week for the text ring mini series number one. I 3D print this ring and cast it into the solver and would like to share with you the process from CAD to finish. Let's get started. I thought it would be interesting to show um, the people if you've never done a casting or you don't know what happened after your CAD file. This is the process from the CAD to finish. I use B9 Creations 3D printer for this project. I have no affiliation with them. It is just what we have here. Um, they come with the very simple software that you can arrange and custom your support. And also, it, this software allows you to check on your support if it is working fine. As you can see, this white dot and white area is your part. And you want to try to avoid the red area coming up, which means you may not get print in those area. Once this get print, this is a 3D printing resin. As I want to show you, you can kind of see on the surface is this some line. It is caused by the resolution of the print. I then sprue it and cast it. Um, you can see this casting result. It's come out pretty good, but it's still keeping those lines there. Here's the larger image you can see. So you still can see those lines over there. So what I do is I'm using the brown polish wheel. It's, it's a silicone base I ordered from the Rio Grande. Again, I have no affiliation with them. I've been using this wheel and it is a silicone base. It's really nice. It will remove the material, but not too fast. The uh, only thing is going to get your piece pretty hot sometimes if you work on it too long. So I remove the larger area with this wheel. The good thing with this wheel is you can shape it into any shape that you like with the file. So that way you can get into the tiny area. Polishing process is like using the sandpaper. You want to use the coarse one and getting into the finer one. Since I still have some like little tiny line on the surface in some area. So I starting within the Tripoli and you can find the um, image here for where I order my polish compound. And then after that you would switch to Fabulous. And then uh, final high polish you can use a Ray Rouge to get the really like mirror surface. Okay, so this is a simple uh, introduction for CAD to finish piece. Please uh, leave your comment below. Let me know what do you think. Uh, if you want me to talk more about the process, uh, more of a CAD, more of a jewelry design, sketch and rendering, or anything that you would like to know about the design. I would love to create additional video for you and share with you about what I know. Thank you and see you next.